Hello everyone. I hope everyone is okay and fine. By the way, I welcome you all, my dear lovely brothers and sisters, to your own channel once again. And this is our second chapter on trigonometry. In this chapter, the first lecture is the geometric values of the trigonometric ratios. What does it mean? It means if we want to define sine 30, then sine 30 is 1 by 2. According to geometry, how we can find. If um, even we are able to define sine 31, even we are able to define sine 32 according to geometric values. By the way, it's very interesting lecture. Then please find a place and listen carefully. Um, listen carefully to the lectures. After finishing every lecture on the boards, then please write it down. By the way, <coughs> If we have our analytic axis, I mean Cartesian system, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. Am I right or not? Yes. Now, I want to have a part of a circle in this quadrant, which is our first quadrant. First. I will prove in the first quadrant, then we will look down on the remaining quadrants, inshallah. What do I mean? This is our circle. Which circle? Trigonometric circle. What is trigonometric circle? The radius is one unit. Now I remove these parts and I will prove all the trigonometric ratios in the first quadrant. This is our first quadrant. Now it is our origin and also the center of the circle. So this is our this is our radius. Am I right or not? Yes. And radius is one. Now in here the point which the radius Attached with the circumference, I will name this one A. I will draw a perpendicular on X axis, which is B. Now, in here, we have an angle by name of alpha, which is anti clockwise. For this alpha, AB is the opposite, OB is our adjacent. And this is our hypotenuse. Why? Because it is in front of the, of the what? It is in front of the um, 90 degree angle. Now, I will define here sine of alpha. What sine of alpha is? It is opposite, which is AB, divided by hypotenuse, which is R and R is 1. AB divided by 1, it is AB. What does it mean? It means <coughs> if you have a circle in which R is 1 unit, this line which is ordinate or parallel to the Y, this one indicates the value of sine. This, this this line indicates value of the sine. Wait a moment. Now I will define cosine of alpha. What cosine of alpha is? Adjacent OB divided by R. Now OB is OB. What R is? 1. OB divided by 1? OB. This line OB which is completely touched with the x-axis. It is called abscess. This is called abscess. And this one shows the value of the what? The value of the cosine. What does it mean? It means if we have, if we have a circle, trigonometric circle, in which R is one unit. R is one unit. Suppose this is 10 degree, this is 20, it's 30, like this one. Now, what is ordinate of this line? 
this one. What's ordinate of this line? This is. And this one is for this one. This line is for this degree. This line is for this angle. So if it is 10 degree, so this line put put a ruler in this part, just measure the this line. This measurement is called the value of sine. And by the way, it is less than one. Why? Because from this part up to this part, which is R, this is one. This line is smaller than one. It's smaller than one. It's smaller than one. For example, this is 30 degree. Suppose this one is 30 degree. Now, what sine 30 is? Sine 30 is 1 divided by 2. <coughs> so, this line is 1 divided by 2. If you put a ruler in which this is the 1 unit, so this is half of the unit. This one is shows the what? The value of sine of another angle out uh, uh, of 30, greater than 30. If you want to measure 31, then please find 31 in this circle. This is the value of sine of 31. I think you have got. Now, this is abscess. Now, for 10 degree, this is the cosine of 10 degree. For 20, this is cosine of 20. This is cosine of 30, cosine of 40, like this one. Up to cosine of 90, you can measure. I think you have got. These values or these lines, they shows the value of the sine and cosine. Then the value of sine uh, and cosine, it is inside the circle. The line ordinate with the y. This one shows the value of sine and this one shows the value of cosine. Also, we can bring this part here. Wait a moment. This is the value of sine. Also, you can put this line here. So, this is the value of sine. This is the value of sine. In y-axis, this is the value of sine. For this result, this measurement shows the value of sine. So, we can call this line as a sine axis. This line shows the value of cosine. So, it is called cosine axis. X-axis is called cosine axis. And Y-axis is called sine axis in trigonometry. I think you have gone. Now, what EB line stands for? It stands the value of the sine of the angle alpha. What OB stands for? It shows the value of the cosine of that alpha. I think you have gone. Now, come to tangent. <coughs> How you can find tangent? Please make a tangential line here. This is a tangential line and proceed your OA line. This line is a tangential line. From here up to here I will nominate C, D. Now, I will define, what do you think? This alpha is located in also O, C, D or not? Yes. In previous, O, A, B. O, A, B. This triangle, we define sine and cosine. Now, come to triangle O, C, D. O, C, D. O, C, D, it is the same triangle with alpha. Why? 90 degree, 90 degree. One alpha is in OEB. That alpha is also located in OCD. So, I will define tangent here. 
tangent of alpha. What tangent of alpha is? It is opposite CD divided by adjacent OD. What do you think? OD, O up to D, this one, is center joining the what? Joining the circumference. So it's also called R. R is in here, OD. R is OD and it's 1. So CD divided by 1, which is CD. So the line, the line, this line, which is tangential to the this circumference and it is joining, it is joining the what? The OED preceding line. This value up to here. Which value? This one. CD line. This is the value of tangent. This is the value of what? Tangent. Here we will define another ratio of the trigonometry, secant alpha. What secant alpha is? This one is um, uh, hypotenuse divided by adjacent. Hypotenuse OC divided by OD. And OD is 1. OD is 1. So OC by 1, OC. This line, O up to C, this one shows the value of tangent. What does it mean? It means if we have a circle in which the R is 1 unit, R is 1 unit. Now, if you want to define sine alpha, this is the value of sine alpha. If you want to define this is alpha. If you want to define the value of tangent, so then make a what? A tangential line, which is cutting the x-axis, and you have to precede this line, this part. This is the value of tangent. For example, this one is 1 by 2. This is whatever it is. Put your ruler and measure this one. What measurement you find, it means that's the value of tangent. Now, what do you think? If I, if I rotate more the alpha angle, tangent is getting larger. If I rotate less, tangent is getting less. If I rotate up to this part, tangent is small. If I rotate nothing, I mean zero, so tangent would be zero. If you Turn it more anticlockwise. Tangent is getting larger. What secant is? Up to this part. This is called secant. Up to this part, this line. Just put your ruler. This is secant. This is the value of secant. This is the value of secant. From center up to line joining the tangent line. The line which is hypotenuse. That's called our second value. I think you have got. Now, we will define uh, cosecant and <coughs> cotangent. How we can? I will make a tangential line here. This tangential line, this tangential line, indeed, it joined here with our alpha. Now, what do you think? What do you think this angle is? I think it is alpha. Why? Listen, this line with this line, they are parallel. Yes. This one works as a radius. Yes. This line. This is our alpha. Yes. Now, what do you think? If this one is alpha, this one is also alpha here. Am I right or not? Yes. And if this one is alpha, this one is also alpha. I think you have got Yes. So, this triangle, with this triangle, O, this is E, this one is F. 
and triangle O E F. They are same. O A B O C D O E F. They are same. Why? Because alpha alpha. We have a right angle. This is our this is our right angle. Am I right or not? Yes. If <coughs> two angles are same in a triangle, then what do you think? The triangles are same or not? Yes, they are completely similar. So, if they are similar, I will define uh, cotangent of alpha. What cotangent of alpha is? Cotangent alpha is um, hypotenuse divided by opposite. Hypotenuse divided by opposite. For this alpha, what hypotenuse, um, uh, I'm sorry, adjacent divided by opposite. For this alpha, what adjacent is? For this alpha, adjacent is EF. This one. Or FE. Am I right? FE. Yes. What uh, uh, opposite is? Opposite is OF. OF. What do you think? O is our origin or center of the circle. F is, F is our uh, point which is on circumference. So OF is same with O and this, is, this one is 1. This one is 1. So FE, OF is 1. FE. The line FE, this one, this one shows the value of the cotangent and similar cosecant what cosecant is it is hypotenuse divided by opposite hypotenuse this is our right angle oe oe is our hypotenuse oe divided by what <coughs> uh, opposite which is of and OF is 1. OE divided by 1, it is OE. It means if we have a circle here, now this circle is, this circle is, R is 1, which is a trigonometric circle. If, if this one is our alpha, if this one is our alpha, what is the value of sine? This line. This is the value of sine. This one. What's the value of cosine? This line. It's the value of cosine. What is the value of tangent? Just make a tangential line and proceed this line. Whenever they meet each other, the line joining meet each other with your x-axis. This is called tangent. The value of tangent. What is the value of secant? From O origin up to here. This is the value of secant. What's the value of mm, cotangent? Try to make another tangential line which is perpendicular to x axis, uh, which is horizontal to x axis. Now this line starts from the y axis up to meeting the alpha line here. This is called the value of cotangent. Am I right or not? And so what is the value of cosecant from O up to cotangent line meeting with the radius? This is called cosecant. I think you have got. Right, please. I will redraw our our what? Our trigonometric circle. Suppose this is our x axis and this one is our y axis and this is also the center of the circle. Now I will draw an alpha angle. This is our alpha angle. How should I make? This one. Now, O, A, B. This is your alpha angle. And the alpha is turning 
or rotating anti-clockwise now what is the value of sine you know this is the value of sine from b up to a also i can make or i can draw this line here they are same from o up to this part this is called the value of sine what's the value of cosine the value of cosine from o up to b this is called the value of cosine am i right or not yes how we can find the value of the uh, tangent make a tangential line here this is your tangential line now proceed this line up to they meet the tangential line and it meet here so this is called the value of tangent what's the value of secant from o up to here this is the value of secant alpha what's the value of tangent just make a tangential line parallel to x-axis and proceed this line up to meeting each other suppose they meet themselves here now from o up to here or from this point up to here this is called the value of cotangent alpha what's the value of cosecant from o up to here this one this is the value of cosecant alpha. I think you have got. Write it, please. Variation of alpha in four quadrant. What are the trigonometric ratios values according to geometry in four quadrant? What do you think? Suppose this is our circle. Am I right or not? It doesn't look like a circle. It looks like a potato. But, sorry, I don't have anything to draw a very best circle for you. By the way, this is x-axis. This is called y-axis or this is called sine axis. This is called cosine axis. Am I right? Yes. Now, <clears throat> this is our alpha. This is our alpha. What is the value of what is the value of sine? The value of the sine just make a perpendicular on y axis. This is the value of sine. And first quadrant. What's the value of cosine? This is the value of sine. What's the value of cosine? make a perpendicular on x-axis this is called the value of cosine what's the value of tangent just make a tangential line here and proceed this one up to meeting each other proceed this one am i right or not yes so this line which is tangential with the circle this is called tangent alpha value what's the value of cotangent make another tangential line horizontal to the cosine or parallel to the uh, cosine this value is called cotangent alpha what's the value of secant from o up to here this is value of secant what's the value of cosecant from o up to here point meeting with the with the what extending of the radius and cotangent this is called a uh, cosecant i think we have one. now what do you think in first quadrant sine goes upward it means it's positive cosine goes to this line it's also positive tangent goes to upper side it's positive and cotangent goes to right side it is positive 
and first quadrant, all of them are positive. All are positive. I think you have got. Now, I will make another circle. Another circle. Suppose. This is our circle, x-axis and y-axis, or we can say sine axis, cosine axis. Now, I will put, I will draw my alpha in second quadrant. This is alpha. Now, what is the value of, what is the value of sine? just make a perpendicular on sine axis this is called the value of sine what's the value of cosine from o up to here from origin up to here this is the value of cosine what's the value of tangent just make a tangential line now extend your final or terminal line of the alpha to meet the line. Mm. This is called from here up to this part. This is called the value of tangent. Am I right or not? Yes. Now what's the value of cotangent? Make A tangential line parallel to x-axis hmm? it should be horizontal now extend your final side of your alpha and they meet each other here hmm. this is called cotangent it's called tangent alpha value and this is called cotangent <coughs> now what do you think in second quadrant sine goes upward it means sine is positive and the reciprocal for sine cosecant is also positive but remainings are negative why cosine goes to left side it's negative tangent downside it's negative cotangent it's also negative the remainings which are cosine tangent cotangent and what secant alpha they are negative in second quadrant sine is positive it goes upward and the reciprocal for this one which is cosecant it is also positive but tangent secant cosine cotangent they are negative of each other now come to uh, next one the third quadrant suppose this is our x-axis mm -hmm. This is our y-axis or sine. This is cosine. Now, I will make an angle which is in third quadrant. This is our alpha. It is in where? Third quadrant. Now, what is the value of sine? just make a perpendicular on y from origin up to here this is the value of sine what's the value of cosine perpendicular on cosine axis this one is called cosine what's the value of the tangent you have to make a tangential line here And 
and extend this line to meet that tangential line the final side this is the final side so I have to extend it here they meet each other in here this one from here up to here this is called tangent and cotangent this is our cotangent now what do you think what do you think sine alpha is negative it's downward cosine alpha left side it's negative tangent is positive upward cotangent is positive so in third quadrant tangent and cotangent they are what positive am i right or not yes the remainings which are sine cosine secant and cosecant they are negative and we have proved before too right now according to the geometry it is proved that they are the uh, tangent cotangent and third quadrant is positive the remainings are negative write it please and we will come on four quadrant okay come to fourth quadrant suppose it's our alpha this is our initial side and this is the final side alpha rotates anti-clockwise this is our alpha now what is the value of the sine make a perpendicular on sine axis this is our sine axis and this is our cosine axis now whatever angle is okay this value indicates the value of the sine of this angle this value from o origin up to here this one indicates cosine value what is tangent make a what tangential line here and extend your final side this is our final side for alpha angle so this is this is the value of tangent if i ask you what is the value of secant secant is from origin up to join joining the point of the tangent with the extended side of the angle this value o up to here this is the value of what secant also we are is um, cotangent uh, just make a tangential line with the circle then extend your what your final side of the angle now they meet each other here so this value from o up to here this is called this is called what this is called cotangent if i ask you where is cosecant from o up to here this line from o up to here this line it is called the value of cosecant now in fourth quadrant what do you think cosine and its reciprocal which is secant they are positive but sine goes downward tangent down cotangent to the left side it means a sine reciprocal for sine cosecant and tangent and cotangent they are in fourth quadrant negative i think you have gone in first quadrant all of them are positive in second quadrant sign with its reciprocal cosecant is positive the remainings are negative and geometry says same uh, in third quadrant <coughs> tangent with cotangent is positive the remainings are negative in fourth quadrant cosine and the reciprocal for cosine is positive and the remainings are negative i think you have got write it please
by the way lovely brothers and sisters it was all that we had in our first lecture on the second chapter see you soon goodbye allah hafiz